Yay. Okay, so I was curious to see, have we got any input from the neighborhood plan contact teams about the alignments? I have gotten response from several. Um, several, uh, I need to go and do a second round of outreach because a lot of the emails in the public directory bounced. Ooh, yeah. um, uh, but I have gotten several comments back. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw that staff produced some maps that mm -hmm. actually showed. So uh, um, I've, I've been just a little busy. Um, but uh, the, um, this weekend, I was going to try and package up those maps so that they actually are, I can direct them to the area that is theirs maybe and explain them a little bit and do a second round of emails to outreach. And um, I, I've heard from a, a council office that, that might not be as um, uh, aligned with me as they could be that, that um, they understand what I'm doing and are encouraging people to return my email. Okay, and is there a process that if they have a concern, I mean, like, I mean, I. I don't know. I've been getting emails like, oh, this is inconsistent. Well, this looks a spot zone. This isn't quite right. There's like where yes. people in the neighborhood feel like it's mistakes. If, right? I, if I could request that all commissioners forward me any such emails that they feel comfortable forwarding, mm -hmm. I will compile them and I will give them back to everyone, let's say, next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Commissioner, um, yeah. Commissioner Shaw, then Commissioner White. I just... Uh, just for clarity, could we just be real clear about what the intent of that is? Because there's been some confusion about the intent of that request. Yes. Um, the intent is to create a starting point for discussion. I, I, I um, would like to ask the indulgence of the chair and the commission to um, take it up as the first amendment to the draft three map. Um, it could be a series of amendments to the draft three map. Uh, but that we consider them first so that we can begin from a starting point of, um, uh, of the adopted small area plan maps, even if the starting point is that, well, they said this doesn't comply with their small area plan, but we actually like it, so we're going to keep it. At least then we have made a choice, an affirmative choice, yeah. between the neighborhood plan, FLUM, adopted small area plan, and something else. And so, th so that we have clarity in our mapping on how what we are doing is different than what has already been adopted and is already on the ground. Uh, so the reaching out to the contact teams is, so we have the maps, we can see where there's a difference between D3 and current zoning and kind of to gauge that. But the, I think I heard you say it's to find out what things they would like to change in their uh yeah and and i and I've, I've gotten some feedback that i need to be a little more clear uh in my communication so i'm going to try again and i'm going to include the extra information um but it's uh there are a number of changes that i think are uh compatible with like the text of neighborhood plans um the the good example is uh there's a bunch of stuff on camera in my neighborhood plan that cs in our neighborhood plan we said we didn't want it to be as car oriented business as it was it was rezoned to ms we are happy with that so it's it's more um to say hey here's what staff did is there anything in here that you consider incompatible with your neighborhood plan and that you don't like so if they like it, then great. If I mean, there's some some mapping changes that were made where it's like MF4, 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 SF2, MF4, MF, and like they changed that. I want to give them the chance to say like, no, that makes sense, or no, actually we like that SF2. Okay. Uh, 